Today's topic is abdominal hysterectomy, everything you need to know. A hysterectomy is a surgical procedure that is carried out to remove a woman's uterus. An abdominal hysterectomy involves removing the uterus through an incision in the abdomen. The uterus is also called the womb and is the place where a baby grows during pregnancy, while the uterine lining is responsible for menstrual blood. A hysterectomy might be required for several reasons, including cancer and certain infections, and the extent depends on the condition that is being treated. Having a hysterectomy means a woman will no longer menstruate and cannot have children. Let's look at abdominal hysterectomy in greater detail. Why is it required? You might need an abdominal hysterectomy to treat any of the following conditions. 1. Uncontrollable vaginal bleeding. 2. Chronic pelvic pain. 3. Fibroids, or benign tumors growing in the uterus. 4. Cancer of the uterus, ovaries, or cervix. 5. Adenomyosis, which causes the uterine lining to push into the uterine muscle. 6. Pelvic inflammatory disease. 7. Endometriosis, which is a condition that causes the uterine lining to grow out of the uterine cavity. 8. Uterine prolapse, which occurs when the uterus protrudes from the vagina after dropping through the cervix. Types A hysterectomy can be of different types depending on what has to be removed due to the procedure. The three common types of surgical procedure include 1. Partial hysterectomy. A part of the uterus is removed in this, with the cervix usually being left intact. 2. Total hysterectomy. The entire uterus is removed in a total hysterectomy along with the cervix. You will no longer need an annual pap test but should have regular pelvic examinations regardless. 3. Hysterectomy and salpingo-oophorectomy. This procedure removes both ovaries along with the fallopian tubes. You will need hormone replacement therapy after this procedure. How is it performed? An abdominal hysterectomy can be performed with general or local anesthesia. The general anesthesia will put you to sleep, while the local anesthesia will numb you from the abdomen down and you will be awake during the surgery. An abdominal hysterectomy starts off with a large incision to the abdomen, either horizontal or vertical. The doctor then removes the uterus through the opening, making sure to not damage any of the surrounding muscles or blood vessels. You will need to spend around two to five days in the hospital after surgery, during which your vital signs and condition will be constantly monitored. Recovery requires rest and a limit on physical exertion. The cut should heal without scarring. Risks. Possible risks of an abdominal hysterectomy include 1. Heavy bleeding and infection around the incision. 2. Injury to blood vessels, intestines, and bladder. 3. Adverse risk to the administered anesthetic. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.